Today is Monday, February 17th, 1997. We're here at the BCI Municipal Authority Treatment Plant in Coalport, Pennsylvania to test a new biodegradable sludge bag, which is that darker one right there. BCI operates a 12 bag system and the plant superintendent is Steve Fletcher and he'll give a brief description of the system layout and the way that he operates the system and some of the system features. How are you doing? Uh, right over there where that porter clean out is, is where the uh, sludge pump comes from. I have two uh, digesters up there. I use one as a uh, digester to waste into, the other digester is used as a thickener. There is a variable speed pump between the digesters. The flow gravity feeds to the pump and the pump uh, pumps it to the uh, building here. Uh, what it does is comes up, we have a clean out port here, basically we have any clogs or anything, comes from the two inch line, goes to your mixing tubes on the polymer system. We use pow uh, powder polymer. Uh, we can mix up to 100 gallons of uh, mix. After it mixes through the uh, polymer line, it comes up and it splits into one tank, number one tank or number two tank. Each tank has a valve on it, so we can run one at a time or two at a time. Uh, the tank itself and the polymer line and the uh, uh, mixing batches all drain into the floor, which go right directly back into the main pump station. This is where the uh, decan of the supernate of the uh, sludge will go back into the head of the works of the plant. Steve, could you go over your normal daily routine? All right, uh, our normal daily routine is when we come in the morning, the bags will be full. Uh, we've obviously taken them off uh, to set up for this demo. Uh, what we'll do is they'll have to settle there for 24 hours. We'll pull the bags off. Uh, we will use a potato tie for the bag, tie the bag up. We'll drag it out here on the floor and let it set for a little while longer to leach any more fluids out. It's not a whole lot after it gets off the system. Uh, very little. Uh, what we'll do is we'll install the new bags, uh, fire the, new, the system up, and we'll drag those bags outside onto a pallet. All right, and would you be able to run us through the control panel and we'll start up a run here? Sure. First thing we'll do here is we'll turn our fire on. Notice that uh, our plus feed pump and our polymer pump. Our polymer pump is located, you probably saw on the other side there at the bottom of the tank. Make sure they're off. A uh, manufacturer for the polymer says to mix 15 minutes. So we'll turn our mixer on and let this mix for a couple of minutes. And when did you make the polymer batch up? It was made, it's made uh, daily. Now, the oldest is our polymer gets is 24 hours. Okay. So what he'll do is, I'll run this batch of polymer that's in here. We've got probably about, oh, a little over 50 gallons. And then I'll need another full batch. Uh, and whatever I don't use, we'll use the next day. Okay. So the, the batch is never older than 24 hours and the uh, manufacturer recommends that you not let it go too long over two days, 48 hours. And how much polymer do you put in there per uh, 100 gallons of water? Uh, well, we use the coffee can method. Uh, I have my notebook over here. We have the dosage wrote down. Uh, pretty much full coffee can to 100 gallons of water. All right. This is one of your smaller cans. Like I said, I have the dosage wrote down over there. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and fire up. Now notice you'll have a variable speed on your polymer pump. You can control exactly with this switch here, this dial, how much polymer you're feeding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my sludge feed pump on. Notice we have a alarm too. I have a high level alarm. He can get up there on the ladder in a minute and show you the uh, probes. But there's probes up there and if it goes into high level, it'll kick your pumps right off. Uh, you also have low level, so if you're away and the high level kicks it off, 
when it goes to low level and the slope settles, it'll kick back on and fill it up again. So we'll turn the slope speed pump on, and then we'll start our car on the speed pump. Now we're feeding slush. I'll go up here and check the mix on it to how good it is. testing today, a biodegradable bag, and it looks to be doing the job. Again, the filtrate quality looks excellent. And as you can see, as the sludge level is increasing in the bag, it's really just raining through the pores. <laughs> 